If you can guess my height to the exact centimeter, I'll do whatever a top comment says to this video. Since he liked to play basketball, I decided to find his height using projectile motion. But first, I needed three timestamps. One, right before the ball was released. Second, the ball at maximum height. And I used Snapchat clipping tool to find a point where the bottom of the ball was lined up with the top of his head. Next, we needed to find the initial height of the ball. So assuming that the net was a standard 18 inches and the dangling piece was 25% of that, we subtract that number plus the diameter of the ball from 10 feet to be left with 87.95 inches. Assuming that the height of the fan style backboard is 39 inches, we can estimate the maximum height of the ball to reach about 145 inches. Now we can set up our equation to solve for the height of the ball after 1.2 seconds since that's when the ball lined up with his head. We wanted the exact answer in centimeters, so we had to convert everything. Next, we needed to solve for the initial velocity, which was 542.73 centimeters. Now we can just plug that in and set t equal to 1.2 to be left with about 168.35 centimeters or about five foot six and a quarter. That says you're five six or one six seven point eight four centimeters. Top comment is to donate to a homeless shelter. Can you please, please, please guess Lucas from NCT's height for me? For this video, I decided to find his height using this photo of him holding Tide Pods. This container was discontinued, but I was able to find one with similar dimensions on Amazon India. Using the photo editing app Airbrush that allows you to remove anything from photos, I was able to determine that his hand was about half the length of the container. I'm going to be using this photo to calculate the rest of his arm and his chest. This you? Using this photo, I was able to confirm that he was using a Ramoa trunk small suitcase. I'm estimating his knuckle to sit one inch past the depth, and we can use the width of the suitcase as a chest reference. Now we can set up this equation and solve for hand size to condense it. First, we need to convert centimeters to inches. So divide 9 by 2.54 and subtract that number by 14.4 to be left with his forearm size. Divide that number by 1.618 to get his hand size. Multiply his forearm size by 2. Add the hand size. Multiply by 2 to account for both arms. And add 15.35 to be left with 72.19 inches, or about 6 feet and 1 fifth inches. So as you guys know, I'm really super tall, as you can see. For this video, I decided to calculate her height using this frame of her holding Glam Glow. I'm estimating her hand size to be about half the circumference. So the twos will cancel and her hand size will just be equal to pi. For a chest reference, I attempted to remove the filter from this photo and enhance the image quality using AI, but after searching thousands of baskets, I didn't have enough detail to find the exact model. So I decided to go with the pictures on her wall. I found this frame from one of her orders and I was able to determine that her pictures were four by six inches, thus leading this distance between three portrait photos to be 12 inches. Now we can solve using our equation. Since the Instamud bottle only had a diameter of 2 inches and her hand was half the circumference, the 2's will cancel which would just leave pi for her hand size. Next, multiply that number by 1.618, multiply that number by 2, add pi, multiply by 2 to account for both arms, and add 12 inches for chest size to be left with 38.6 inches, or about 3 foot 2 and 3 fifths inches. So basically, in BTS, there is a member named Namjoon. <laughs> I decided to calculate his height using this photo of him holding version 3 of the Army Bomb light stick. With help from the Army, I was able to determine that the light stick had a diameter of 1.5 inches. I'm estimating his thumb to line up with the center of his intermediate phalanges, so now I just need to account for the extra distance. For that, I'm going to be using this photo of him holding this camera. This you? I'm estimating that distance to be equal to the diameter of the lens, so we can just add that to the circumference of the light stick. For chest reference, I'm going to be using the 15 minute mark of this video, which shows Nam June with the BE Deluxe album cover next to his chest. The army was able to confirm the open width of 14.5 inches. Now we can solve using our equation. First, find the circumference of the light stick. Multiply that number by 1.618. Multiply that number by 2. Add the hand size back on. Multiply by 2 to account for both arms. And add 14.5 to be left with 71.79 inches, 5'11 and 4 fifths inches, which is basically 6 feet. I decided to calculate her height based off the shadow of this fire hydrant. But first I needed her arm size, so I'm gonna be using this coldest water bottle. I'm estimating the missing distance to be 75% of the height of our iPhone 8 Plus, so we can subtract that from the circumference of the water bottle. Now we need to calculate the shadow of the fire hydrant. Fire hydrant sit about three feet above ground, so I'm gonna be using this measurement for the height. Using my angle app, I'm gonna estimate the top angle to be 32 degrees compensated for perspective. Now we can set up this proportion and solve for the length of our arm shadow. 
Now we can set up this triangle to solve for our chest size using 16.73 times cosine 24. Multiply 3.5 by pi to get the circumference of the coldest water bottle. Subtract 75% of the height of the iPhone 8 Plus. Multiply that number by 1.618. Multiply that number by 2. Add the hand size back on. Multiply by 2 to account for both arms. Multiply 36 by tan 32 to get the shadow of the fire hydrant. Multiply that number by her arm size and divide by 36. Multiply that number by cosine 24. And add to arm lengths to be left with 68.85 inches or 5, 8, and 4 fifths. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Joe Rogan. How tall is he? I decided to find his height based off this frame of him holding a can in this YouTube video. I was able to confirm that he's holding a caveman nitro based on this Instagram post from five years ago, and I'm estimating that his palm for his middle finger is about half the circumference. Next, I'm going to be using this photo for his thumb size. 8 ounce and 12 ounce cans do have the same maximum width, so I was able to set up this triangle assuming that his thumb was perfectly upright against the can. Next, I'm going to be using this photo of him holding a bowling pin for chest reference. And bowling pins do follow a standard height of 15 inches. First, multiply 2.6 by pi to get the circumference of the can. Divide that number by 2. Now multiply 2.6 by 1038 to get thumb size. Add those numbers together for hand size. Multiply that number by 1.618. Multiply that number by 2. Add the hand size back on. Multiply by 2 to account for both arms. And add 15 to be left with 68.8 inches. Or about 5 foot 6 and 4 fifths inches. This is a message to that one guy on TikTok. You know the guy that finds people's height? I decided to calculate his height using this photo of him next to his chair. I couldn't find a frame of his arm stretched down side by side, so I'm going to be estimating that his elbow is sitting about halfway up his backrest. Key things I was looking for when I was searching for his chair was this frame and the screen front. After searching hundreds of chairs, I wasn't able to find the exact model, but I found one with a similar build. I compared 20 chairs with similar backrests and they were all relatively the same size. Next, I'm going to be using this gift bag as a chest reference. Assuming that that gift bag was an extra large, we'll have a width of about 13 inches. Now we can solve using our equation. First, we need to calculate the height of the backrest. So subtract the maximum seat height by the minimum seat height and subtract that number from the maximum height of the chair and subtract the minimum seat height to get the height of the backrest. Next, divide that number by two and add the minimum seat height to get the height of his elbow. Then multiply that number by 0.41, divide that number by 1.618 to get his forearm size, add those numbers together, multiply by two to account for both arms and add 13 to be left with 48.65 inches or about four feet and two thirds inches. Let's go out with a bang. <laughs> I decided to calculate his height using the holes on his belt strap. First, I had to confirm that it was him because he has the tendency to repost George. I noticed his bowed thumb in this unboxing video, which lined up with his fake face reveal video. Next, I'm going to be using this frame of him holding this Burmese Kiat. The currency is 150 by 70 millimeters, and I'm assuming his thumb is equivalent to the width, and that from the middle finger down to the thumb is about 70% of the length. Assuming that the distance between the holes in the belt is 1 inch, I duplicated holes across the entirety of the belt, which ended up being about 19 holes or 19 inches. So I was able to set up this 30-60 triangle. Convert to inches and multiply the length of the currency by 0.7 and add the width for hand size. Multiply that number by 1.618. Multiply that number by 2. Add the hand size back on. Multiply by 2 to account for both arms. Multiply 19 by square root 3 for chest size and add those numbers together to get 74.82 inches or 6, 2, and 4 fifths inches. Have you ever been in math class and wondered, when am I ever going to use this in life? Everybody. Well, no more struggling. Welcome to episode one of Do You Need This? First up on this list, we got Y equals MX plus B. What's that? Also known as slope intercept form. Real life scenario. Let's say the school plug bought $25 worth of candy to sell, and he sold the candy for $1.25 each. You can use slope intercept form to graph this relationship where 1.25 is the rate of change. You could also use this to find how many pieces of candy he would have to sell to make his money back by setting Y equal to zero. For difficulty, I'm gonna have to rate this one a 2.6 out of 10, only because younger people find the graphing portion a bit more challenging. For need to know, I'm gonna have to rate this one a 10 out of 10 if you're in school, because you're gonna be using this in almost every math class you take. For real life application, I'm gonna have to rate this one a 4 out of 10. You might use it unknowingly, but realistically, you could probably go your whole life without setting up this equation. Hello, TikTok. I'm out in the dark. I decided to find his height using this photo of him holding a chicken nugget. First, I needed to know the nugget variations. On the top, he had two bell-shaped nuggets and two circular ones. Since this nugget has a more rounded end, I'm gonna be assuming that he was eating a ball-shaped nugget. And so I bought a 20 piece in which five were circular and I took the average of 10 sides compensated for perspective. Next, I'm gonna be using this photo of him with his diamond sword to get the rest of his hand and his chest size. This U. Assuming that these are perfect cubes and we know the height of one inch, we can calculate the diagonal length from the second light blue cube down to the bottom of the handle. And his hand is positioned in between the gaps, take a height into account. 
First, smoke plot one square root two by three, where the rest of his thumb is equivalent to the diagonal length of a cube. Add two for the height. Add the average end of the nugget for the tip of his middle finger. Multiply by 1.618. Multiply that number by two. Add the hand size back on. Multiply by two to account for both arms. Multiply by one square root two by 11 for chest size. And add those numbers together to get 73.63 inches, or about six one and three fifths inches. I decided to find their height using the amount of light illuminating them relative to the layout of the parking garage. Just kidding. I did use this Tim Horton cup, this U, so I know that that was a medium 14 ounce cup, and a frame most likely had an extra large 24 ounce. Since there was very minimal references, I had to gauge how much of a hand was wrapped around the cup, and it was somewhere between 55 and 60%. For chest size, I set up this triangle and solved with law of signs using her arm as a side link. I'm also estimating her friend's hand to be two thirds around the middle of the cup. First, add the top and bottom diameter of the cup and divide by 2. Multiply by pi and multiply by 0.575 for hand size. Multiply that number by 1.618. Multiply by 2 and add the hand size back on. Multiply by 2 to account for both the arms. Divide her arm length by sine 81.54 and multiply by sine 35.19 to get her chest size. And add those two numbers together to get 60.27 inches. Next, I set up this proportion for chest size relative to arm length. I'll leave the instructions on the screen, but for a friend, I got 71.96 inches. Oh my god! Oh. Let's take a look. So off rip, I can tell you that the shark is not going to be as big as it appears to be in the water. This is because water has a higher index of refraction in air, especially the ocean, because it's affected by things like salinity and temperature. So some things we need is the path of the light, the height of her phone or camera, what type of camera or phone that she has, and we need to know the distance to the end of the object, and probably how far submerged it is. We can use Snow's Law to find the angle of refraction, but we can't really estimate an apparent depth because the shark resides in the epipelagic zone, which spans about 650 feet. So the short answer to how big the shark is, too big. All right, Kente Haven, since you already guessed the height of Namjoon, can you guess the height of Jungkook from BTS? Out of my 34 references, I decided to find his height using this photo of him holding a donut and JK blowing bubbles. I'm gonna be assuming that the diameter of the donut is 3.2 inches using the study on creating the perfect donut. So I resized it to fit perfectly in his hand and now I need to find the size of his distal phalanges. For that, I'm gonna be using this bubble wand in which the circular part is around two centimeters. And the distance we're looking for is equal to about one and three fourths of those. For chest reference, I'm gonna be using this photo of him holding a plushie. This you? I duplicated the plushie and bent the image to compensate for perspective. First, multiply 3.2 by pi and divide by two. Multiply two by 1.75 and divide that number by 2.54. Add those two numbers together for hand size. Multiply that number by 1.618. Multiply that number by two. Add the hand size back on. Multiply by two to account for both arms. Divide 400 by 25.4 for chest size. Add those two numbers together to get 70 inches. We're about five foot 10 even. I decided to find his height using this video of him lifting weights. His forearm is about the size of the plate, so I just need the model and I can find his arm size. This you. If the plate is correct, then it has a diameter of 10.43 inches. For chest reference, I just set up this triangle and solve using law of signs. For the lady's height, I just use angle of elevation and I'm using Edward's body as a reference to estimate the blocks of the pavement to be around 36 inches. Her heels may be custom, but I'm using these Steve Madden heels as reference, which have a height of 4.5 inches. For Edward's height, divide 10.43 by 1.618 to get hand size. Multiply 10.43 by 2, add the hand size back on, multiply by 2 to account for both arms, use law of signs to calculate his chest size, and add those two numbers together to get 69.54 inches. For Lucina's height, multiply 1067.1 by 36, and subtract 4.5 from the height of the heels to be left with about 80.72 inches. This next part is just going to be me comparing myself to objects to prove that I'm tall. Can't I Haven, I need your help. <laughs> I decided to calculate his height using the most intricate method in my arsenal. With this photo of him wearing a narwhal onesie, I was able to apply a Giannis Whitman subtraction symbol. First, I needed a reference for the horn size, and whoever told y'all this was a narwhal horn, lied. The horn had a height of about 5 inches, so we can subtract the height of the horn from the height of the door to be left with 75 inches, minus about an inch and a half for his hair, for 6 one and a half. However, that was kind of boring, so I decided to calculate his shoe size, comparing some of his sandals to my dad's, which should be around 4.5 to 5 inches in width, which leads me to believe his flooring does have an 8 inch width. So I duplicated his foot and turned it, which allowed me to gauge that it was about a plank and a half. The only negative factor being if they had mixed widths. So I multiplied 12 by 2.54 to convert to centimeters. I'm going to say your size 12 in Vans, because I saw you wearing some of these, and probably a 12 and a half, 13 in Nikes. Let me know if I'm right. All 
I was challenged by Dream to find Sapnap's height, so I decided to do it using patches. First, I needed his hand size. For that, I'm going to be using this photo of him drinking from his bottle. Sheesh. <laughs> the bottle should be the same, compensated for low light and fluids. So I took five measurements in intervals of 2.5%, starting after 50%, which would mean the average is 57.5%. Next, I rotated Patch's head to compensate for her neck, and I'm going to be referencing this padded envelope, which has a common width of 12 and a half inches. So I duplicated the envelope and I'm estimating it to be about an extra 20%. And here's an attempt of me stretching this image adjusted for perspective. First, multiply 3.5 by pi to get the circumference of the water bottle. Take 57.5% for hand size. Multiply by 1.618. Multiply by 2 and add the hand size back on. Multiply by 2 again and count for both the arms. And add 15 to be left with 68.56 inches or about 5, 8 and a half. And I'm estimating patches to be about 15 inches in length, 17 inches stretch, and 27 including her tail. Students love what you're doing, but what they really want to know is how tall am I? I received the ultimate challenge to find the CEO of a math company's height. Richard Rusick is the ultimate math man, so I decided to find his height using this video of him from nine years ago breaking down a polyhedron. I found this frame of his hand next to these tiles, so I duplicated it and I'm estimated to be about two and a half tiles. This you. Next, I'm going to be using this art of problem solving textbook as a reference for chest size. It has a length of 10 and 7 eighths inches. So I duplicated it and I'm estimated it to span about one and a third books across his chest. The length of the tiles was 2.5 inches, so multiply that by 2.5 to get his hand size. Multiply by 1.618 and multiply by 2. Add the hand size back on. Multiply by 2 to account for both arms. Multiply 10 and 7 eighths by 1 and a third to get his chest size. And add those two numbers together to get 67.41 inches, or about 5, 7, and 2 fifths inches. I also decided to find his shirt size by creating this cone using the square pattern on the shirt. Multiply 5.5 by 10, 25.09. And multiply by 2 pi for his neck size. He probably wears a large and medium, has a 32 waist, and won a math Olympiad at 17. I'm as tall as I am because I'm being ridiculous and won't reveal my actual height. I decided to find his height using this photo of him eating whipped cream. Nice. I was initially going to solve by setting up triangles along his microphone cable. I even narrowed down the mic to the Shure SM58S and similar XLR cables. However, I couldn't get an accurate measurement from the cable to his elbow. The ready whip had a diameter of 2.62 inches, and I'm going to be using this letter paper as chest reference, and I'm estimated to spend about a page and a half across his chest compensated for perspective. I realigned his middle finger and thumb, and I'm estimated to span about 85% across the bottle. Multiply 2.62 by pi to get the circumference of the can. Multiply that number by 0.85 to get hand size. Multiply that number by 1.618. Multiply that number by 2. Add the hand size back on. Multiply by 2 to account for both arms. Multiply 11 by 1.5 for chest size. And add those two numbers together to be left with 75.77 inches, or about 6, 3, and 3 fourths inches. You're gonna finally see how tall I really am. I decided to find his height using this podium from his press conference with Logan Paul and this thumbnail of him holding a basketball. God damn. And this podium is correct. It has a max height of 45.5 inches and I'm estimating his elbow to sit four inches down. Next, I used this frame at the end of the conference to see what shoes he was wearing and I'm estimated to be the Nike Air Force Ones based on the pattern on the back, which has a heel height of about 1.2 inches. I then duplicated the basketball in this image and I'm estimated to span about one and two thirds balls across his chest. Now we can solve using our formula. First, subtract 4 from the back side of the podium. Subtract 1.2 for the heels of the shoes. Multiply that number by 0.41. Divide that number by 1.618 for forearm size. Add those two numbers together. Multiply by 2 to account for both arms. Multiply 9.51 by 1 and 2 thirds. Add those two numbers together. And multiply by 1.02 to be left with 70.73 inches, or about 5 foot 10 and 3 fourths inches. And I set up this parabola to find his forehead size, and I'm estimating it to be about 4.4 .4 inches. I decided to calculate the distance of this dunk by using a sidewalk. I'm using a frame from this video where the breaks in the sidewalk are more apparent. And I measured my own sidewalk in which the length was 60 inches and I'm assuming that these values are similar and they are constant even though there are some inconsistencies. I'm estimating them to have passed about 6 laps with a takeoff time of 1 in 517,000 seconds. Next I needed the angle of the takeoff and I'm estimating that value to be about 60 degrees. Now we have enough data to solve with this formula. First we need distance. Multiply the length of the sidewalk by 6 and divide that number by 39.37 and convert to meters. Next, divide that number by the time of the takeoff to find the initial velocity of 6.03 meters per second. Input 60 degrees for theta and divide by the acceleration of gravity to be left with about 3.2 meters or about 10.52 feet. 